get outside. Then when you walk in through the next building where the actual hogs were, ooh, that hits you pretty hard too. But also, believe it or not, over time, it, in actual fact, it wouldn't even take very long in that environment before you would get used to the smell to some degree. Amen. It wouldn't be as quite as strong. Amen. And, uh, and you'd almost lose track of the smell altogether after you'd been in there a while. Amen. And after you, only the fresh burst, if you will, of air <laughs> where it would smell. You, only the fresh ones would catch your attention because you had gotten used to that odor. Amen. You were probably unconsciously aware of those smells, uh, but unless you focused on them, the odor was lost to your senses. Uh, Hey man, and we live in this sick, sick, dirty, filthy, vile, unrighteous world. And I'm afraid we've gotten used to it, haven't we? Hey man, we walk down the street. Hey man, we walk into Walmart. Hey man, and that person's problems and the, I don't even know if this is a word, but the obviousity, is that a word? And the most, that, let's just say the, the, the right way. Hey man, the obvious nature of that person's problems don't even grieve our heart. It doesn't hurt our soul. Uh, I tell you some things break through. Uh, Maybe you hear a mama absolutely just cussing out her children. uh, Using all kinds of foul language. uh, And maybe that stirs our heart. uh, Amen. But the nature of the things. uh, People addicted to everything. uh, Amen. Except uh, everything except drywall on uh, on, on the inside of the house. uh, Amen. Everything. They're addicted. uh, Amen. They've they've got so many affairs they've lost count. uh, Some of them have got so many any, uh, uh, child support payments they don't even know where they're going to anymore uh, but we walk through it and it doesn't even stir the heart uh, amen the spiritual part of things uh, amen it's not just sin sickness uh, but their soul sickness if you will uh, amen their soul is so sick uh, they can't feel God anymore uh, they, they may have felt him once but they have lost hope that they'll ever feel God ever again uh, amen we live around saints uh, that are giving way age and every day uh, we so, uh, uh, quote unquote churches uh, amen are accepting uh, abominations every day uh, I'm not saying uh, it's wrong to have them in the church uh, I'm saying it's wrong to allow them to minister in the church uh, amen it's wrong uh, amen when you say you start telling people uh, that what God says is an abomination uh, is not sin uh, amen you have it every single day uh, and people are so confused And it doesn't bother us enough. There's new types of sin every day. We live in a world of sinners and we've gotten used to it. It shouldn't be the way it is for the church. They should look and see a field of harvest, not a desert. I'm afraid that's all we see a lot of times. We look out there, all we see is a desert. We've heard about this world being a wilderness so much. We've heard about it being a desert and a dry and barren land where no water is. And we've heard it preached about revival so much and and we need it. We probably need more people telling us that we need revival. Amen. But sometimes I think that has lulled us into the idea that unless we have a revival in the church, amen, as far as uh, uh, this great shouting thing that will draw people in, uh, amen, that all we see out there is a desert. So we see it, uh, as if the water, amen, flows from this little garden uh, all the way out to the desert. And suddenly, the garden springs up. Now that's biblical, amen. But when the when the, I, I'll tell you what will really happen, uh, amen. When revival will really come uh, is when the church begins seeing the harvest uh, rather than just the dust uh, and the hard work uh, and the labor involved, uh, amen. Or uh, even if they even if they seek crops, it seems like that's all. It's too hard. Uh, it takes too much. Time it causes too many problems that people are going to hurt me. Hey man, we've got to get back to the place that we don't lose sight, if you will, of the older. Hey man, of that fresh burst of seeing uh, being the only one that's noticed. We have been gotten used to the dark, and we've been used to it too long. 
Amen. We've gotten used to God, the maker of the earth. We've lost the wonder of things. The same maker that one day separated light from darkness is here. But we've gotten used to him as well. We've gotten used to his wonder work and power. We've gotten used to uh, uh, of his, uh, his ways of not, if you will, not answering us in our prayers. And we lean on the crutch that God will answer in his own time instead of bombarding the door of heaven until we know that God is listening. Amen. Is going to give us some kind of answer. Amen. We, we stand on the crutch that if somebody didn't get healed and that it just wasn't his time instead of bombarding God for faith to believe. Amen. Instead of trying to go to the gates of heaven. Amen. And asking to see God and say, Lord, we need faith. You said if any two agree in your name, it will be done. You promised these signs to follow them that believe. God, I want to believe. Help my unbelief, Lord. Amen. Instead of, amen, waking up, we've gotten used to even to God's wonder working ways to the point, amen, where we no longer seek Him and we take Him for granted. Amen. But Malachi chapter 4 says but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Psalms 112 verse 4 unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness for Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. You and I still today. Amen. We serve the risen Savior. He's in the world today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. I say He lives. He lives. My Jesus lives today. Jesus, light of the world. The way, the truth, and the life has come. And you and I, amen, can be delivered from the power. Amen. That darkness holds over us again. Ah. Hallelujah. Ah. Lord, let the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in His wings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in His wings. We've gotten used to the dark. We've gotten used to the dark. The sooner you admit it, the sooner God will be willing to send some light your direction. Amen. Ask God to open our eyes. Yeah, I, I, I don't see him. I don't see him really. Uh, in my opinion, at least, I don't see him sending light to the world. Unless he's got some people that are ready to send light, him to send light into their lives. God doesn't have to use us, but he wants to. Amen. God doesn't have to do anything, but he wants to answer our prayers. He wants to move in our church. I believe that. Amen. How he wants to move in this place. He wants to put down the powers of darkness. He wants to let some light break through. He wants to establish us his kingdom on earth and he wants to use you amen will you begin to amen realize and say Lord I don't want to get used to the dark I don't want to let its powers overcome me God but let the darkness that I see only uplift the light in me oh God don't let that darkness push me down oh God but let me stand on that darkness for you said that darkness was under under your feet. If you lift me up, Jesus, above the shadows, I'll walk in the light of life. I'll live according to God's word. Amen. And I'll make sure that I do my best to shed that light into every patch of darkness I can find. Glory. Don't get used to the dark. Amen. And definitely don't let the dark get used to you. 
Hallelujah. I want darkness to flee when I come around, don't you? Not because of me, but because of who's inside of me. Hallelujah. Don't let the dark get used to you today. Glory to God. And I want you to come get me a song. Amen. Come get me a song.